So because I kind of think in algorithms, I put that into two kind of separate categories. And the first category, to be honest with you, um, for physicians and providers that I want to talk about a little bit is the facilities here. So, you know, looking at our clinic and our hospital and um, our nursing home facility, Fairway View, I mean, we have um, some of the nicest facilities that I've ever seen or been able to, to work in. Um, and that has been that has been huge for us. Um, I mean, the, the equipment that we have in those facilities and state of the art, even just the setup, you know, for physicians and, and healthcare providers in general, you know, having the hospital and clinic connected and being able to continue to do that so that we can go back and forth and take care of our patients. Having the nursing home, Fairway View, um, be as close as it is to us so that we can get back and forth and take care of our patient, patients has been a huge benefit. Um, and along with those facilities, you know, the equipment. We've got a brand new CT scanner, we've got 3D mammography, um, you know, just all, all of these things and even, even smaller things, you know, the bus that the foundation has helped with for Fairway View to get patients back and forth to the clinic is a huge benefit to us um, so that we can see our patients easier. Um, and so I think, and the other, the other two areas actually, you know, I think about the providers here, but you also have to think about our outreach services. You know, physicians coming in here from other places, a huge part of that is the, obviously because of what we have to offer to them. You know, we have surgeons coming here that are doing total joint replacements, and that wouldn't be happening if we didn't have um, the, the equipment and the services that we have at our hospital in the operating room and, you know, post-op care to be able to take care of those patients. And it's such a huge benefit to us as the providers here that our patients don't have to go anywhere else to get that care and that we can continue to take care of them both before and after those things. Um, and of course, an area that is you know near and dear to my heart is obstetrics. I mean, that is one of the, the things that I love and being able to continue to provide really good obstetric care when we're seeing other hospitals that aren't able to do that anymore. Um, and, and that is largely because, again, getting those physicians that are trained. You know, we have two physicians now that have done an OB fellowship and another one coming with help of the foundation that will do her fellowship and will be able to continue to keep those patients here, those families here. Um, and, and again, that is a huge satisfaction to me. If, to be honest, I want to be somewhere where I can provide really good obstetric care. And if we weren't able to continue growing in that area, that would be a, a really, really tough thing for me. So the facilities is kind of the one area. And then of course the other area is the people. I mean, you guys know because you're members of this community and our healthcare system that the people here are amazing. And you know, not just the physicians that the foundation has helped to recruit, but the other healthcare providers, um, nurses, and you know, having quality nurses in our hospitals and clinics helps us as providers as well. You know, again, you know, to be able to to know that we can trust all of those people to help take care of our patients is huge, and it's just another huge benefit to us. Um, having a, a mental health provider, there are not very many small places that can say that they have someone who provides psychiatric care in their hospital or in their clinic. Excuse me. Um, and that, that is huge for us, you know, being able to improve our mental health um, services here for our patients and then also for us as providers is, is huge. And then another area that I wanted to touch on a little bit, um, again, as a, a benefit to me, but also the community that I think sometimes doesn't get quite as much exposure as it should, is our out-of-hospital services, so our EMTs, and we now have a paramedic. Um, again, that is also as something that the foundation has helped with, and with, without trying to sound too dramatic, I can honestly tell you that I can think of situations where having a paramedic on our ambulance service has, has definitely saved a life, and, and that's, that's huge. And for us in the hospital, as those patients are coming in, knowing that they have gotten absolutely everything as far as the best care out of the hospital is, again, huge and helps us out a ton as well.